Hey guys, just a quick video to show you how to find and install mods for Kerbal Space Program. Because in my videos I'm going to start using mods soon, so I'm going to show you how to um, yeah find them and install them. It's very easy. So this is my desktop, obviously. There's a little picture of Ike on Juna. My three proud astronauts there. So yeah, open up your um, internet. Go to www. You don't need www. Kerbal Space Port. No, we don't. Is it kerbalspaceport.com? Yeah, it's kerbalspaceport.com. Don't know why it didn't come up. I go on there like every day, pretty much to check. So yeah, you'll come to this page. So yeah, kerbalspaceport.com. Right, yeah. So you're here, and you have the most popular little list up at the top, the top rated, newest. If you go on, click on any, you'll obviously get a bigger page with lots of pages you can scroll through. First page is the most popular usually. This is people's opinions anyway and ratings and downloads, so yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean the best for you, but they pretty much are. So yeah, you'll find all cool things on here like MechJeb, which is like an autopilot and gives you plenty of information about your ship, uh, orbit and space and whatnot. Mapset, it's cool. Maps the planets, gives you the altitudes, finds easter eggs and things, protractor which helps you get easy encounters which I'll show you how to do as well. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things to be found on this site. If, the, if there's a mod worth having it'll be on here, this is like the official mod website. So we'll just in, uh, install a couple. Uh, we'll get we'll get MetJeb. You just click it and then click the download. There's a big forum thread. You can just click this link. Um, there'll be lots of comments too. But the best place, well, most of the good mods have a forum thread on the uh, official forum. If I click it, it'll open up the uh, forum. And everyone's talking about it, telling you what not. All the good stuff. So, yeah, we'll go back. So, we've downloaded MechJeb nice and fast. That's a good thing about this as well. It's uh, good hosting and you get fast speeds to download. So, we've got MechJeb and we'll grab one with a lot of parts too. Uh, this should have a few parts. The space station pack. So, we'll download that as well. I just want to show you, I'm getting two because I want to show you like the uh, the way I go about it just to manage my mods because I put them into a folder and I keep them fresh just in case like your game buggers up you can reinstall the game and have them all fresh so you can put them back in so once they're downloaded basically we'll make a, uh, a new folder and just call it code, you don't have to do this by the way I don't know, I always do that, my first I always keep the shift held down every time <laughs> my second letter is always capitals anyway so yeah we'll go and get this shown folder um, I'll right click and cut so I've got a few here that I'm waiting to install on the uh, new directory that we've got so I'll go ahead and I'll paste it in here and I don't know what program you use but to unzip it or extract I, I just click it in my folder and extract here then it'll just grab it out and what I'll do I'll inside this Kerbal Mods folder I'll have a fresh I call it fresh mods so once I've unpacked it which it's there I'll just put this in there so I've got a nice fresh copy so then we can copy these over and then delete this so it's clean and then we've still got a fresh yeah you get the idea so we'll grab both of them uh, we'll go and grab this one cut close and paste, I won't extract that one yet until we've done this one so now I'll go to my directory because I've got two um, on separate disks for some reason just, uh, just so they don't conflict in my opinion but I don't think it matters yeah I've got a fresh um, copy of the game there too so yeah basically you'll get these folders come up and when you open your mod folder uh, if my mouse wants to work, stupid thing. I play too many first person shooters, my mouse needs replacing. So, yeah, look, we've got three folders in here parts, plugins, ships, and you'll find them all in here ships, plugins, parts, 
basically open that. You can just drag and drop straight in. And they'll be in there now. Uh, yep, move it. So now them parts are all in your game. Basically, you just copy everything. Unless it has source. A lot of them will have a source folder, which is just. You don't need to know that unless you want to sort of um, look at the source code for the mods and stuff and edit it and you know, change things. So, yeah, this is the plugins. So, you just drag and drop that into your plugins. And they've got some pre made ships. So, you go to ships, see vehicle assembly building, VAB. Don't drag the folder because you're replacing. I don't know why I cleared all my ships for some reason. So you just drag and drop that in there. So now MechJeb's installed on your game. When you load your game, you'll find MechJeb is available to use. Basically, it'll be my mouse is annoying me. See, so all these are the MechJeb parts. So you've got like, if you stick a MechJeb part onto your ship, it'll bring up the uh, MechJeb controls. So that one's finished now. So because I've got it in the fresh mods, I can just delete that, Oops, delete that, and the info. Because I do them one by one. So now, because not all of them will have um, them in folders. Sometimes it'll say parts and parts, and then you'll get like if you extract two, and they're not in separate folders like this is like it's got its name Cosmos folder. Sometimes they don't put them into a folder like that, so it would just say parts, ships. And if you uninstall two that aren't in a separate folder like this, then they'll overwrite each other and you'll lose them. If you get what I mean. Not rocket scientists. Uh, not rocket science. So yeah, same again. Internal is simple really, isn't it? Look, just double click. Uh, it'll be spaces. Just make sure though. So you open this one first. So spaces. And then you want to copy this folder because inside the folder, oh man, that's annoying me. Right, yeah. Look, if you look inside the folders, you'll get the same kind of. Oh, I'm just going to use the C. So, yeah, on the. Um, you just want to copy the folder over. So now you've got. That's the internal modeling of the uh, relevant part in here. Oh yeah, I don't even need to do that. I can just highlight all these and just drag them onto the parts and they'll go in the parts. Saves, you don't need this at all because this is just a save game they've made. So they've put like the um, space station up, I'm guessing, into an orbit. Um, ships, you can have their pre made ships just like, yeah, MechJeb one we done. So these are their pre-made ships you can drag into the VAB and they don't have any in the space plane hangar obviously because it's a space station pack. So that's pretty much it guys, you just drag and drop and then I'll put that in there so I've got a copy of the fresh mod and delete that. So now if my game buggers up and I need to reinstall it all, I'll have a nice fresh copy of the mod so I've, I had installed. And that's it guys really so yeah thanks for watching hope that helped if you didn't know how to do it and i'll see you on my next mission